Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My previous video introduced Crow Cloud Run list cloud infrastructure environment for you to create, deploy, and manage your cloud native applications in one unified cloud environment. As we can see here, this cloud environment the native support Docker, Kubernetes, also can seamlessly integrate with GitHub. As I introduced last time, you will get $5 for free by registering a new account. If you have 180 days GitHub registration user account, then you will unlock $5 for free every month. It's a lifetime free deal. Actually, don't count it. I don't know how long this free plan gonna be lasting. No matter what, right now it's free. You can grab it. I got quite a few feedback about this Crawl Cloud Run website. Some questions is asking what can be installed, what kind of application can be installed, can they run this, can they run that. So please make sure you read these terms and the conditions, what you must not do. If you are thinking about deploying some proxy or deploying some not illegal stuff and then you probably need to think about your account safety it's clear it says don't use it to the open proxies open mail relays open recursive domain name servers or tall exit nodes those things don't do it of course some other obvious things you don't want to run on this platform so they will disable your account or delete your account right away without notification. Keep that in mind, read these terms and conditions before you create an account, create your own app in this cloud environment. It is still free, it's easy to get it, no credit card needed, just a GitHub account or email account, then you are good to go. In this video, I'm going to continue to show you how to deploy an app from the app stores and how you can use your custom main to access to it. I'm gonna use WordPress as an example. It's gonna be a quick video because it's so simple to deploy. If you want to spin up your own WordPress website, here is much simple, easy to create one for yourself. Now let's start it. To get the Crow Cloud Run account, it's very simple. Click Get Started button from the main page. Then you need to choose either GitHub or Google. If you don't have GitHub account, then you can use a Google account to log in. That's the only thing you need. I already have GitHub account, so just log in from there. If your GitHub account is already been 180 days old, then it should get you free credit $5 per month. After you log in, if you watch my previous video, you will see how you can launch your app, how you can create your database. But today I'm not gonna go through that, I'm gonna introduce the app stores. In my previous video, I already showed you how to use Docker to create web applications such as a list, Vault Warden. There are quite a few applications. I already did that. X Carry Joe, FRP, those are good IT tools. I did quite a few of them here. PHP, my admin, as Hub, Rust Desk, Umani, Uptime Kuma, WordPress. So if you are interested in any of those applications, you can just click and deploy. That's very simple to do. For this video, I'm going to use WordPress as an example to deploy it. I think everybody knows WordPress, what it can do. Um, here's the most important things, you know, it's 0.06 per day for this deployment. So we're going to click deploy app. So app launched, it's waiting so they can launch a database it's only using 0.5 cpu 512 megabyte memory 
and 0 0.2 CPU and 5 tail memory. We have this web application ready. Now it's deployed. So now let's take a look at details. In the overview page, you should be able to see the port 80 has been assigned a private address and public address. So you can quickly copy this one and then you can paste it in. So right away, you should be able to see this classic WordPress installation wizard page. Now our WordPress web application is up and running. We want to double check the cost again. Here is the application, WordPress application. If you click update button, you will see CPU cost you 3 cent, memory 3 cent, storage almost zero, total 6 cent per day, but it didn't count database. So we may want to see how much database costs you here. We are running 0 0.5 CPU and 512 megabyte memory and 3 gig storage. Very decent, but it's a minimum requirement. We can set it up for our database. So this is half CPU, 512. You were surprised in the cost, which it's 11 cents. 11 cents plus 6 cents is 17 cents, which for 30 days, which is gonna run out of your $5 credit in this case. Here is what we're gonna do. Since we cannot adjust anything here, this is only minimum. Then we can adjust our WordPress CPU usage. Right now it's 0 0.2 CPU. We can put 0 0.1 CPU here, which is gonna bring down to 0 0.04 plus 0.11 cent on the database total will be around 0.15 dollars per day which is perfect for us you also can do get 0.2 cpu but you get a little bit less memory which also good enough in the executive i will keep this using this one 0.2 cpu and 256 megabytes memory for this web application Let's update that. We can refresh our page again. Perfect. It's still running well. Our next step is to using our own domain to access this web application. To use our own domain for the web application, we are hosting at Crow Cloud Run this website. We just need to manage our network and then config custom domain. You go to the network session at the end of your internet access URL, you will see this custom domain button. Click on it. You will get the C name, copy it. You will use it later on. You will also need to prepare your custom domain for it. I'm using Cloudflare to manage my DNS record and I'm using free domain from eu.org. Um, if you want to know how to get your free eu.org domain, please watch my this video and uh, that will tell you how to get it and how to integrate with Cloudflare. Assuming you already have one, just like I have, so I'm gonna create my own DNS record, which is C name record. I'm gonna put name as WP and the target is the record we copied from the web page here. See in the code. One most important thing you need to do is uncheck this proxy status. We are not gonna use proxy for this DNS record. Save that. Now come back here. You can type your custom domain here let wp.51sec.u.org let my custom domain so now you can confirm it now you will see that the built in internet access address has been changed to your custom domain let's give it a try of course before you try you need to update it will restart your application you will see the status waiting creating 
give it a couple minutes or a couple seconds and it should be ready. Just make sure you see the status is running. So now we're gonna use our custom domain for wp251sec.eu.org. Perfect. Now we're gonna do continue. Install WordPress. You can log in. Continue your WordPress database. Now we got our WordPress website up and running with our own domain. So that's pretty much all for my this video. I hope you got some useful information from this video and also enjoyed it. If you do, please give me a thumb up and also subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one.